All right, YouTube, got some really, really bad news about this computer. Well, I tried everything I could to get the internet connection back online. I even tried recoding the IP address and doing all that stuff. And then we called we we called Geek Squad and then recoded the IP address. And we tried everything we could, and then Geek Squad said, I, it's nothing with the software or the internal workings or anything like that. It's the fact that the computer's having physical problems. Physical problems. The motherboard, there's, so there, apparently the motherboard is dying, or not the motherboard, the, the wife, either the Wi-Fi antennas or the connection for the Wi-Fi is dying. So, that really sucks. So I guess I could get a USB Wi-Fi thing, but shit, the Wi-Fi on this computer is completely dead. It's got no Wi-Fi. The signal keeps cutting in and out, and if it's more than 10 feet away, it won't pick it up, so no Wi-Fi. It's, it's, I mean, what good is a laptop without Wi-Fi? I can't plug Ethernet into it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose I could get Wi-Fi through USB, but I don't, like, want to carry around a bear extender or a air card with me or something like that. Because you got to pay for that shit. Not the bear extender, but you have to pay service for an air card. So, we're going to try to scrap this thing and get a new one. And if I get another HP computer, it may or may not be worthy of an EFF sticker, depending on its build quality. If that computer is a piece of crap, I'm not putting an EFF sticker on it. It's... <sighs> Damn. <clears throat> In fact, I've almost just been thinking, I'll just smash the shit out of this one and buy my own damn computer. I don't care if it was a Christmas gift. I try to be thankful for it, but it's just hard when your shit doesn't work. I don't know why I did that. But when your stuff doesn't work, it's kind of, I mean... It's kind of hard to be grateful for it, especially when you're me, because I get very, very pissed off at things. In fact, every HP computer I've ever used, I've gotten pissed off on, and I just realized that like an hour ago. When I was like seven years old, we got an HP computer for the house, and that thing never worked right. I used to punch the monitor because it always pissed me off, but, you know, I was seven, and, you know, anger issues at that time. So... That computer lasted a month, and it was an HP, and the computer we have now is also a piece of crap, because I may or may not have said this in some previous videos, <clears throat> when you push the button for the disk drive to come out, there's a little door that opens up, and then the disk drive slides out over the top of the door. You may have seen things like that. Well, when that little door opens up, it opens up over the button, so you can't reach the button, so you have to push it back in. Now, normally that's not a problem, because you just tap them and they go back in, but when you push this one, it pushes back. It fights you, so you have to shove it back in there, because it's an HP piece of shit. It's all crap. All these computers are shit. You may find a couple good ones out there, but every experience I've ever had with HP has been shit. My first computer, my iMac G3, that thing worked perfectly. Even by today's standards, that's better than this thing. Fuck you, HP. You suck ass.